Manga Wido. Morning, Dad. Good morning, Rene. Oh, Rene, I'm leaving now. Have, Have a, a nice, nice day. day. I'm Rene Asahina, 16 years old. My family's a little bit different. My father, Yukio, is a handsome man and a full time house husband. My mother, Miwako, a beautiful career woman, is the managing director of my grandfather's company. My parents were originally seniors and juniors in the company, and as you can see, my father, a handsome man, was very popular even back then. My mother fell in love with him and married him after a passionate approach. Later, when my mother was promoted to the position of managing director, he accepted my mother's wish to take care of the family instead of me. My father, who had always been sickly, became a full-time house husband. It was a bit of a strange family, but my father was very cheerful and kind, and I grew up to be a daddy's boy. My mother was busy with work, so we didn't spend much time together and I missed her, but they were still a very happy couple. We live in a high-rise mansion, and at my mother's urging, I was sent to a prestigious private all-girls school. I owe everything to my mother. I was grateful, of course, but my mother has been acting a little strange lately. She's coming home late than usual, or says she's working overnight at work, and then she doesn't come home until later. I feel like she's looking at her phone all the time, even at home. Miwako, why don't you at least stop using your phone while you're reading? It's a call for work. At this hour? I've been having a lot of trouble lately. I even have to take care of my subordinate. Well, a stay-at-home dad wouldn't know what that's like. That's tough. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my room and do some more work. You don't have to say it like that. The married couple's relationship was a little tense like this. Just then... What? Hospitalized for a checkup? Yeah, well, it's just a checkup to make sure. He had not been feeling well recently, so he went to the hospital during the day today. The doctor strongly recommended that he be admitted to the hospital for an examination. To my father, my mother... Well, doctors exaggerate. They want to put you in the hospital right away for whatever reason. I'm sure he'll be fine. It's nothing unusual for your father to get sick. She doesn't even show any sign of concern. I was a little shocked by my mother's cold attitude. Then a few days later, I visited my father in the hospital room after he was recently hospitalized. Excuse me. I'm Sanai Sakuma, Yukio Asahina-san's doctor. No way. Sakuma-senpai? It's been a while, Asahina-kun. What? What a surprise to hear that Dr. Sakuma was a senior to my father's high school club. You have fulfilled your dream of becoming a doctor. Congratulations! Thanks. Now that I'm in charge, you can rest assured that I'll take good care of you. I'm excellent at what I do. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. She seems to have come to check on my father a lot since then. I'm glad my dad's in the hospital and seems to be having a pretty good time. But after this, I was going to be thrown into an abyss. You're joking, right? Well, I was just told by a senior colleague that there was still a suspicion. My father was showing signs of cancer. My father was acting strong, but he was not as cheerful as before. A few days later, when I visited him in his hospital room... Is your mother well? Oh, um, yeah, she's fine. Good. I was curious because she hasn't come to see me once. Maybe she's busy with work. I think so. I see. I'm gonna go to the concession stand for a bit. Actually, my mother hasn't come to visit even once. She comes home late, and sometimes she wouldn't even come home, so I didn't see her much either. She makes the excuse that she's busy at work, but that's enough. I immediately call my mother, pleading her to come check on my father, but... I can't. I'm busy. It's fine since you go. Can't you at least see him? I think he misses you. I don't have time. I mean, I don't want to see a sick man in the first place. Don't talk like that! Aren't you worried about him? It's no use worrying about it. That man is frail to begin with. Don't call me for some nonsense. Oh, hey, Mom! The doctor was often concerned about my father while my mother never showed her face. 
My father looked so calm when he was talking to the doctor, and even though the test results weren't in yet, just having the doctor there made me feel at ease. Hey, what kind of senior was my dad to you? He is, and always has been a very respected senior. He was really good at drawing. They were both in the art club. He was so impressed by Dr. Sakuma's paintings that my father decided to join the club. As they worked hard together in the club, my father vaguely began to think that he wanted to become a painter. One day, my father suddenly asked, Are you going to apply to art school? No, I'm thinking of quitting painting after high school. I'm going to take the medical school entrance exam. She had lost her father to cancer and said she wanted to become a doctor, hoping to save as many people as possible. I joined the art club because my dad liked to draw. I got into it more than I thought I would. Also, Hinakun, are you going to study painting at university? I don't know yet, but I hope I can. I think it's good. I like your drawings. They're gentle and warm. Wow, what a nice story. Is that your father's first love? What? Um, oh, um... Hey, Renee, don't make fun of a grown man. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, you know... We were just talking about the old days. But then, just a few days later, I thought my mother had suddenly arrived to the hospital room, but... Let's get divorced! What? What the hell is wrong with you, Miwako? You have cancer, don't you? I don't want to take care of a sick person anymore. I feel bad for troubling you. But at such short notice? What are you thinking, Mom? You never came to see him and now you're talking this nonsense! It's not his fault that he's frail, but I can't take it anymore. I want to be free. I can't take any more of this. See, I'm sorry for putting you through all this then. I'm glad you understand. Well then. My mother left the hospital room after leaving the completed divorce papers. But the next moment, I was so angry that I went after my mother. There she is! Mom! Yeah, I just handed over the divorce papers. What? She's calling someone. As I stop and listen. It's okay, he hasn't noticed. He's so naive. I bet you he doesn't think I'm cheating. What? Cheating? Is that why she's been home late and always on her phone? Mom, what were you just talking about? What? Rene, how come? Just answer me! If you ask, I can't help it. That's right, I am dating someone. He's a junior at work. He's the hottest guy in the company. I still like Yukio's face, but he might have cancer, right? I can't take care of him anymore. Do you want to come with me? If you stay with Yukio, you will be able to go to private school like you are now. Are you kidding me? I'm staying with Dad! I'm not going with you! Well, do what you want. Then fill in the divorce papers. My mother smirks and walks away. Frustrated and sad, tears naturally welled up. Rene Sean. Oh, Doctor. Are you okay? Er, Dr. Sakuma! I found out later that she had heard my mother and I talking on the phone before, and she was concerned about her family. And that weekend, finally the test results came back, and Dr. Sakuma, with a seer expression on his face, told us that he had cancer. I see. I couldn't find the words to say. But the doctor, with light in her eyes, I will do everything in my power to cure your illness, but I think you have to start thinking about what happens if things go for worse. Right. So, Yukio-san, please give me the rest of your time. Doctor? Does that mean... Will you file for divorce right away and marry me? Er... I actually liked you since high school, my father used to say. That opinion reflects a person's inner self. Seeing your paintings made me understand what my father said. That warm painting is you. The more time we spend together, the more it was drawn to your caring kindness and your smile. It was too sudden a turn of events for my mind to catch up, but I was in tears. Tears of joy. Dad, I don't want that kind of mother anymore. I want Dr. Sakuma to be my mother. 
I was never going to forgive my mother for betraying my father at a time like this. And how much my father and I were saved after meeting Dr. Sakuma. If you say so, Rene. Senpai, well, I'm looking forward to working with you. Later that day, my parents' divorce was finalized. He demanded minimum alimony for my mother's affair. My mother paid it without complaint because she didn't have any money problems. The apartment was also my mother's name, so I temporarily moved in with my father's grandparents. I was transferred to a public school as well. It was my mother who originally insisted on a private school. Public high school was good enough for me. And about two years later, Welcome home, Dad, Mom! Did the results came back good? Yeah, the test results were good. You still have three more years to go before you can say you're fully cured. You can never be too careful. Dad's cancer is in remission, and Sane-san moved us to a new house just in time for Dad's discharge. So now the three of us are living together. Then one day, I got a call from my biological mother. What do you want now? Rene, please help me! I'm in an accident! I'm in so much trouble! My mother was in a car accident that left her paralyzed. She got dumped by her younger lover, and her savings are running out because she's been paying him so much money. I heard from a friend of his that Yuki was completely healed. And he's doing well at work now, too. Rene, will you help your mother and father get back together so the three of us can live together again? What are you talking about? You made it sound like you got divorced because you didn't want to take care of Dad. That's enough. Because... And Dad's already remarried, so it's impossible. Then I'll give up on Yukio. Will you come live with me? Rene. Yuki and I are strangers now, but you'll always be my daughter. Yeah, I'm grateful to you for giving birth and raising me all these years. Then... But I'll never forgive you for what you did to Dad, and I can't think of the accident as anything but karmic retribution. No! So I'm sorry, but if you want to rely on someone, please ask another relative. Don't get involved with me and Dad anymore! Hey! I then got a call from my maternal grandparents that they had taken my biological mother in. My grandparents are good people, and they were so furious about the divorce that they had at one point told their own daughter that they would cut her off. They promised to never let my mother near us again, so that's a relief. I hope that one day she'll come back to her sensible side, because despite everything, she's my mother after all. And I want to tell you about my father's work. Actually, because of the reunion with Dr. Sakuma, my father started to pick up a paintbrush again. I saw Sane-san fulfilling her dream, and I thought I'd give my old dream another shot. That's great! I love your paintings too, they're so warm! My father, who wanted to support the family with his paintings, switched from watercolors to illustrations and posted them on social media. I also wanted to support my father, so I introduced him to trendy art styles and cheekily gave my opinion on his illustrations. As he continued, his delicate style slowly became the talk of the town, and he gradually began to receive more and more illustration jobs. Now he receives a steady stream of commissions, and his drawings are used in advertisements, book covers, and so on. What are you drawing next? I'm drawing Sanesan because I'm working on the theme of what I love. What? And Renee and I, when I heard the theme of love, family came to mind first. I see, that's nice. A lot has happened, but my father and I are now surrounded by true love. May this happiness last as long as possible.